What's up, Pokemon people? Welcome back to Mudkip Pow. Today, I'm going to bring you along my first Pokemon Sword and Shield pre release. I'm here at Magic Stronghold Games and um, just wanted to sh give you guys a little sneak peek of how my pre release kit went. Um, the store was pretty loud, so I wasn't able to include the sound from the video. So I figured a little voiceover would be suitable here. So, our um, supporter pack here, we got the uh, Rillaboom line, some really nice supporters, trainers, and the Ponyard Bisharp line, which I used in my deck. Um, pack number one, here we go. So, what some advice that I would give to you guys who are still going to pre releases that are probably gonna go down today and tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. Um, try to play as many of the item cards and trainer cards that you get, um, as long as they have some sort of benefit benefit to your deck most item cards will be beneficial so um, I will try to play as many as you can and try to organize the typing of Pokemon as you pull them out of your packs because you won't have a lot of time to build your decks so as you can see right now as I'm pulling the cards I'm separating them, separating them into typing so you know that kind of helps you save some time figuring out what typing you have the most of and our very first pull a stone journer v full art um, I was really hoping to play that card in my deck, but my promo card was Rillaboom, so it wasn't exactly super compatible. Um, so I actually en ended up not playing it. I did pretty well in the pre-release, so no complaints there. Um, second pull, a Secret Rare Ordinary Rod. That card I did play for sure. That's a super sweet looking pull and very useful card. Alright, so I'm going to skip over to when I got home and open my prize packs. Hey guys, so we just finished the Pokemon pre-release, our very first Sword and Shield pre-release. We're back home, and here are the prize packs that I won from the event. Did pretty well. Um, what's the order here? I think I got, I got, there's three guaranteed, and I won three extra ones. So I got six extra packs of Sword and Shield, and we got some really awesome cards from our packs, as you guys saw just now. So anything here, it's just bonus to be honest this set is really amazing and I can't wait to crack into these packs so my girlfriend here she's gonna open the packs for us because she hasn't touched any sword and shield stuff yet right yeah so she's well, really... I haven't touched anything for a long time <laughs> yeah any Pokemon related stuff so we're here she she's on here on the channel cracking open some sword and shield let's go and you pick which starter did you pick I don't know who was that? For uh, for you played Shield, didn't you? Oh yeah, um, the cat person. Okay, rabbit. <laughs> code card for you guys. <laughs> the rabbit. <laughs> yeah, Emperor. Krabby, Altoid, Dugtrio, Switch, Energy Retrieval. Ooh, that's good. That's a reverse rare. Hey, got two starters. That's awesome. Nice. So two rare cards already. Not too shabby. What's a good one here? Um, not shit. This one, the sword dog. Game. Why? It's really playable. Oh no. It's okay. Good card for you guys. There's still there are a lot of good cards in the set. That's non GX. Um, um, Cinchino is a good one, and. Frost Moth is also a good one. So there's still a chance you get it in the reverse slot. Okay, the way I keep. Ooh, that, that, that name tells actually looks super cool. I like it. Alright, anyways. On to the next one. How do I like. Okay, no. I mind. personally really like Lapras V Max. There's a, the new cards are called V Max, by the way. Or Pokemon V. V Max is like the, the Gigantamax version. So the Lapras v Max looks gorgeous! Really? Yeah. It looks... I think you just opened the pack art. Uh oh. This one. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. Ratchet! Alright, three packs left. So we're at the halfway point. Let's see if things pick up a little bit here. So if, you, if you pull a Zashi in, that's it. That's a, that's a win. That's a win for sure. Pull card for you guys. Like I said in the previous video, um, 
Is a Zacian like is a coal? Uh, not coal, gold. There's like, a gold one. Yes. Like a fuller one. <gasps> oh. Pony. Top. It's so girly. I love it. Mm -hmm. There's a gold one. Yes, but even if you pull a regular or a full art, those are really good too. Mother day. All right, last two packs. So I think this one was an extra one that I won, I think, or the other one that you opened. I don't remember. I just remember it was a Snorlax Gigantamax pack card. Oh, the one with the island thingy. Yeah. All right, gold card. Here we go. All right, get something, boo. Okay. You can <laughs> it. Ghastly Sizzle Wolfy Dollar. <laughs> These are so hard to pronounce. That's a good one. <gasps> oh my god, it's so pretty! Wait, is this all your time? No, but oh. it's Lapras V. That's okay. So Lapras V evolves or Gigantamaxes into Lapras V Max. So you need to play this first. Oh. That's so pretty! Oh my god, I love the colors. Here you go. Because it's blue and green. I guess. It's like an <laughs> Aurora, right? How do you sleeve it? Like You've this? been out of the game for too long, but it... Huh? Like this, right? We should have that Spongebob three hours later. <laughs> Yay, sleep! That's such a pretty card, my goodness. Good job, babe. <laughs> Alright, last pack. Let me please the ball. <laughs> please the ball. Alright, you can do this, babe. Get one more. Good, uh, good card for you guys. <laughs> All right, you got this. A bit higher. Oh. There you go. Oh, that octopus is so cute. That's a good. Oh, you got some good trainers. Those are good ones. Hey, there's a dreadnought. Column. <laughs> Holy cow! I've never seen a dreadnought. I didn't see anyone play it. I haven't pulled one. Our very first column. Does that count? <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> I, I'm gonna count that as. What? A, okay. That's an awesome card. I love. I love dreadnought. The reason why I'm calling it column. It's because my girlfriend here, she named her Dreadnought Column in the game after a character in a TV show. He's a lad. It's the funniest thing. Alright, so yeah. Here, that's the poll from our prize packs. Pretty happy with it. Honestly, very happy with it. And yeah, um, that's it for today's pack opening. I'm going to go ahead and go through the deck that I played. Peace! Well, <laughs> Alright guys, so here is the deck list that I played at the pre-release today. So, as you guys saw, I got the Rillaboom promo. This guy, super amazing card. The ability Voltage Beat allows you to search your deck for two grass type energy cards and attach it to your Pokemon any way you like. Only one Pokemon though. So I got the Grookey, Thwacky, Rillaboom line here. Ponyard and Bisharp line. So these two came in the little packet in our pre-release kit as you saw, as well as the Snorlax. I pretty much just played whatever came in the packet. Usually, if you guys don't pull anything extraordinary, what comes with the packet is a pretty good set of cards that you can rely on. So that is my advice to you guys. So hence, I played a bunch of grass type energies to make sure that the abilities, we can make full use of the ability. I teched in one metal energy just so that Bisharp, he has a second attack that allows to do 60 damage. Um, if there's a metal and a colorless. So, I teched in that one metal energy just in case. Um, Aurora energy we pulled, really great energy card. It counts as any sort of energy card, so really cool. Um, I was able to charge up the Snorlax several times without fail because of my good old Rillaboom. Just pretty much one turn of the ability of Rillaboom gives you two energies. Manual attachment, bang, you're hitting hard with a big old Snorlax. Snorlax won me a couple of the games. Because it's so tanky and it deals such great damage. So if you guys get this package, I would highly recommend playing the Snorlax. If you get a Rillaboom or if you get a Frost Moth, this little guy paired with it. This one allows you to attach as many water type energy as you can from your hand. So that's a good combo too. On to the supporters. So everything here, oh sorry guys. Everything here came in the packet as well. The only cards that I pulled that I added in was a Rare Candy and the ordinary rod. Everything else I think came with the packet, if I am correct. So usually whatever trainer cards come with it, um, I would suggest playing it. The only ones that I omitted was this Team Bell Grunt, 
you put an energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon through your hand. It's still disruption, but I honestly feel like it just... It's, uh... I think from pre-release, you just gotta focus on yourself and make sure that you're doing the best you can to make your deck as consistent as it can. So yeah, really happy that I pulled the Ordinary, aside from the fact that it's a beautiful gold card. It's such a playable card, it helped me recover my energy cards, because in pre-release setting, only 40 card deck, you run out of cards real fast. And you don't want to deck out, so Ordinary Rod came in real clutch a few times. Break Handy's great, brought a Grookey Boy up to a Rillaboom in two of my games. It was awesome. So as you guys probably saw in the opening video, we pulled a Stone Jorner. Usually I would play, G, um, I almost said GX, Ultra Rare cards, Stone Jorner V. Usually I would play the Ultra Rare cards that I pulled. The reason why I didn't is because it just didn't really match with the other cards. So here's a piece of advice to you guys. Even if you pull an Ultra Rare, it doesn't mean you have to play it. Of course, it's fun to play it, but if you're trying to win, you know, sometimes you gotta figure out what works best with your team, and what I did was, um, I left it out. And I did pretty well, in my opinion. As you guys saw, I won a, quite a few packs. Um, did pretty well. Um, did better than I hoped, to be honest. I got a pretty good deck to play with, and I, I, I think it was, there was three rounds, I won two. And I also challenged the league tournament organizer, and I beat the tournament organizer as well, which which gave me an extra pack. So yeah, I think it was a good decision. I don't regret not playing it. But if I were to play it, see everything here, all the attack costs is fighting. That's the camera not focusing. There you go. So it's all fighting. So in order to play this, we'd probably have to attack at least six fighting energies in the deck, and you know not having, replacing these energies with fighting energies would just make this ability pretty much useless. So, in my mind, I was like, I gotta make sure I take advantage of his ability. Um, I can use Snorlax because it uses any sort of energy type and it actually helps charge my Bisharp too. But honestly, the attacks on this guy is not terrible, but it's not super great either. If it was better, I might actually build a deck around it. But um, I think, I think because my deck didn't really synergize with it, I decided not to go with that. So that was a little, little tip there for you guys when you guys are in pre-release setting, because you you usually only get 30 minutes to open the kit and build a deck. So you got to make decisions really quick. So um, yeah, here's to hoping you guys pull some sweet cards on your pre-releases as well. Hopefully the advice section helps you guys a bit, sort of. I'm hoping. <laughs> Anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching as usual. And um, yeah, if you guys want to enter the giveaway as shown in the beginning of the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you guys have been to any Pokemon pre-releases yet. And if you guys got to open any Sword and Shield stuff, I would love to learn, love to know how you guys are doing with Sword and Shield so far and your thoughts on this new era of Pokemon cards. That's all today for me, guys. Um, hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. Come on, baby.